I have four absolutely stunning, irreplaceable coins for you today, folks, at some, some really great, great prices. I'm going to start off the very first year of the Franklin series. I have a 48, 1948D. Beautiful, beautiful tone specimen in MS67 FBL. It's the only 48D I've ever owned in MS67 FBL. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd have a 48D in this grade because while the 48P you can find in 67 FBL, the 48P it comes with cleaner surfaces, typically speaking. 48Ds tend to be much baggier. The Denver Mints in general and the Franklin series are much baggier on average than the Philadelphia Mint issues and the San Francisco Mint issues. The Denver Mint issues are well known for their superb strikes. Most of them have full bell lines, but they also typically have a lot of bag marks. And to find a 48D that's essentially flawless with gorgeous color, there is only two examples graded by NGC and MS67 FBL. This is one of the two coins, folks. In my opinion, this is a $35,000, $45,000 coin. Uh, the good news is I got a great, great buying opportunity on it. I got it at a great price. It really is a king of the hill specimen. I, personally, uh, if I have it for, for much longer, I'm going to resubmit it for an upgrade for either a plus or a star designation. Uh, I, I think it's one of, the, uh, again, as with all of these coins, they're really exceptional for their respective grades. And a 48D is absolutely irreplaceable in MS67 FBL, um, especially with nice colors. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of a, a burnt, iridescent, burnt orange color, obverse and reverse, um, not your typical uh, gray brown that these 48Ds usually come in when, when they're in mint sets. When they come out of these mint sets, they're usually just very dull, colorless coins. This coin has beautiful, vibrant, iridescent, this kind of uh, sunburst, uh, sunset orange coloration on the obverse and reverse. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous specimen with, with you know, again, virtually flawless surfaces. Now, the second coin, second coin I have here is a 1953 Proof 68 Plus. <clears throat> now, 228, oh, by the way, that first 40, that 48D is an Everest coin. I forgot to mention that. That is an Everest coin. 53 is a Proof 68 Plus. Uh, only 220 some examples have been graded in 68. However, only two in 68 Plus. There have been 11 graded in 69. So this is near the very top of the of the of the hill here in terms of quality. There's only a handful and graded in six nine. Those coins typically go for around fifteen thousand dollars. The great news on this is that I've got it priced for about a fifth of that in six eight plus condition. Beautiful, fully brilliant surfaces, no spots, no haze, as pristine and flawless as the day it was struck back in nineteen fifty three. The third coin here, oh yes, I love this coin. Here you have a coin, 1829. 1829 half dollar. Struck during the screw press era, folks. The screw press era. Uh, the screw press era. There's your cap bust half dollar struck during the screw press era. This is before the era of the steam press. The steam presses, I, begin, I believe, uh, were first used in 1836. Up, up before that time, they used screw press to strike these coins. And to have a survivor almost 200 years old, this coin is virtually perfect. The strike is full and bold in all areas. Uh, it is hard to believe it's almost 200 years old. It is the only example graded MS-66 star by NGC. There are no 6.7s. So the, here you're talking about the finest known surviving 1829 with beautiful, beautiful kind of electric deep blue color around the periphery, obverse and reverse. 
just absolutely magnificent. It looks like it's been stored in an album for maybe 150 years, you know, because to survive in this condition, having been struck in 1829, 1829, folks, Abraham Lincoln was 20 years old. I mean, if he had had this coin in his pocket at one time, it wouldn't be MS-66 today. The coin is essentially as it came off the die when it came off that screw press. No serious bag marks of any kind. Very conservatively graded. It is absolutely breathtaking. Uh, absolutely irreplaceable jewel uh, from the, the Cap Bus series. 1829 from the screw press era. Finest known MS-66 star. Of course, it is an Everest. And then lastly, I've got this beautiful pre-1800 silver dollar only 19 graded in MS-61. To get a mint state pre-1800 silver dollar. Folks, these are so rare to find an uncirculated condition. Here you've got this beautiful, beautiful drape bust with the heraldic eagle reverse. A beautiful, brilliant specimen. Because most of the time when you get these in mint state, they usually tone kind of gray, brown. They're usually very, very unattractive. Um, so I kind of, I, I rarely buy these because it's hard to find them with nice color toning. And it's hard to find them in br with brilliant condition when they're in high grade, especially in high grade. And w with these coins, I, whoop, I'm usually looking for these in at least extra fine condition. Uh, AU is exceptional. But then to get one in MS-61, this is the first time we've offered one from this early era in MS-61 condition. It is a fabulous, breathtaking example. $17.99. Think about that. $17.99. This was like the birth of our nation series. I mean, these are the earliest years of silver, uh, of the of the silver dollars and half dollars, uh, they were first struck in the early 1790s. To get one from the 1700s, there are so few of these. This is just a great type coin. If you've never bought something from this early era, and want to build a great type collection, here you've got a coin that um, to get one in surviving an uncirculated condition with brilliant surfaces, full strike, no unattractive distractions of any kind. It really is as nice as you could hope to find in an MS-61 grade. Of course, it gets my Everest seal. It's just, you know, I, I love this piece. Uh, I love all four of these coins. Uh, to, to recap, starting off, I've got the magnificent 48D, this early Franklin, first year of issue. I never thought I'd see the day when I would get a 48D in MS-67 FBL. But here we have one with beautiful, beautiful original mint set color gorgeous color, essentially flawless surfaces, one of only two certified, among the finest known. And then we have this, this spectacular 1953 Proof 68 Plus, one of only two, only 11 graded in 6.9. Again, fully brilliant. No haze, no spots, uh, and I have it for about a fifth of the price of a 6'9", 1953. The third coin, finest known, 1829, cap bust half dollar, MS-66 star designation, star for the eye appeal because because of the beautiful, beautiful rim color around this coin, just beautifully framing the coin. The central portions of the coin are just fully brilliant. It really, you couldn't ask for a more beautiful higher quality specimen, especially at the price I have it for you at, folks. It, to me, this is the kind of coin that will be a six-figure coin one day. They are so extremely rare, so, so very, very undervalued. And lastly, this, the big kahuna in, in, in the sense of its size, this early silver dollar, much larger than uh, the Morgan dollars and, and, and peace dollars that followed, these, uh, these early silver dollars are huge coins. This coin is a beautiful, it's a 1799, beautiful MS-61 in fully brilliant condition. I hope you can uh, uh, get yourself one of these very, very prized specimens. I love all four of these coins. I mean, this is 
<coughs> this is the part of my work I really enjoy the most. When I can pick up coins like this, talk about them, and present them to my fellow collectors and uh, explain why, why I'm so excited about them and why I love them the way I do as, as a collector, uh, knowing how elusive they are and how special they are in the condition I have them in. That's what collecting uh, is, makes, uh, is so much fun to me. Uh, when, when I can find those really, really top-of-the-line specimens that really offer the ultimate and eye appeal quality and rarity for their respective issues, and oftentimes at some really surprisingly affordable prices. So thanks for watching this little special I have on these four really great United States rarities. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.